Thinking back, thinking of you Summertime, think it was June Yeah, I think it was June Laying back, head on the grass Chewing gum, having some laughs Yeah, having some laughs To make me feel like the one Make me feel like the one The one You make me feel like the one Made me feel like the one The one Hi guys, this is how to play Dakota by the Stereophonics. This arrangement is based on the acoustic version that they do in some live sessions and occasionally at live gigs. The link to that is down below if you'd like to see a full version of that acoustic version, if you've not seen it yet. We've got a capo at fourth fret to start off with. You don't need a capo to be able to do this lesson, but I'm going to keep it on there because that's how we do it in the original key and to make it congruent with the, uh, with the version in the description. We have a C chord, pretty easy chords, only three or four of them. We've got a C major chord, absolutely standard way to play it. We've got an A minor 7, which if you've not come across it before, is a dead easy version of an A minor just without your third finger. And then we have an F major 7, which is the easier F chord, sometimes called an, I call it an F like a C, because you just take the second and third finger from the C chord and move it down a string. Hey presto, there you have your F major 7, or your easier F chord. The only other one we go briefly to is this little one here. This is a C slash B chord, but dead easy to play. Uh, the strumming's fairly straightforward. Let's get you straight in for a close-up uh, for this great song. So let's just have a close-up on our chords first of all to make sure we know what we're playing. We have a capo 4th fret, which is in between two dots on most guitars, and we're going to play a standard C major chord to start off with, and this C lasts for two bars. And then we just take off the third finger and keep the other two down, and you're now playing an A minor 7. song again for two bars and then we're going to play an easy F chord we're going to put your middle finger and third finger at a string down from where they are on the C chord so these two just move down like this and that's our F chord which is also played for two bars and then we come back to our C chord which once again bookends our chord sequence so it starts on the C and ends on the C for two bars Therefore, when it loops, the C does play for four bars, all in all. I'm using eighth strumming with this, one and two and three and four. So let me just demonstrate this and then we can play it along together with the chords that I've just talked about. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, easy F chord. As with the strumming pattern we want to do for this song, and this is eight soul down strumming to a count of one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So everybody should be able to do that. I'd like to get your guitar and try and play this along with me now. We'll go nice and steady so that everyone can follow it. From the C chord, in a one, two, three, four. that I was using in the demonstration and that you'll see uh, Kelly Jones playing in the video in the description below by doing some palm muting. So we rest the outside of our hand 
or our palm, um, just on the inside of here. Um, we won't focus on this too much now, but I've got a video on palm muting to show you exactly how to do this if you fail to get this sound, but basically there's a sweet spot and you want to be in that sweet spot which is just here. And you can lift off a little. Which can be very effective. Just lifting off and raising your hand from the bridge to give it a bit of dynamics. Because when we're doing this sort of strumming down, 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 it gets a bit samey, it has to be said. There is a brief other chord that we're using here, which is this C slash B chord, which comes when we're on the C chord at the end of the sequence. So we'll do an F and a C. Okay, so that's just for the last two beats. And four. Right at the end. F, one, two, three, and a C. One, two, three, and four, and a D. If you're familiar, as I say, with the live version of this, the live session, and you followed the start of this video, you should be able to get that. So let's move on to the chorus. The chorus is two bars of the F chord, and then two bars of the C chord. And you probably want to go for health 11. No muting in this one, so we're going to use downs and up. Like this. One and two and three and four for the F chord. And then mute it and do all downs um, when we're on the C chord. Demonstration, first of all. B chord at the end of that sequence basically F for two bars C for two bars stick one of those at the end that's the way it sounds really good with the F chord and the C actually if you're ever using it with downs and ups you're really gonna want this thumb on top just flat on top not leaning too far over like this otherwise it's gonna ruin everything when it just sat on top and that means when we play all the strings with the down or an up there it is basically saves our bacon. If the A string rings out in the easier F chord, don't worry about it at all, it's totally fine. So let's just do that chorus one more time uh, from the easy F chord, down and up strumming, kind of steady, in. A one, two, three, four. in a bit now would sound good the one and then that C slash B chord we make me feel like the one make me feel like the one the one okay so there's a lot of subtlety there and if some of that subtlety uh, you're unable to do at the moment, don't worry about it. Get the bare bones of the song, play along to them doing it, and make sure you can give a good impression of the whole song at the fundamentals. Get the basics nailed, and that's what we want at this, this stage. There is one more section to this song, which is the middle eight. And that, uh, just as a demonstration... chord, C slash B, I go into an F chord, so C for two bars, C slash B for two bars, and then your F chord for four bars, and that's the same for the, so take a look at me now. I'm taking this middle finger off of my F chord. Doesn't really matter when I do it. 
kind of sounds good, doesn't it? Try and incorporate that into your playing. On a C or an F chord, that middle finger... Sounds great if you coordinate it with your strumming hand as well. Sounds really cool. But other than that, get the components from this video, the, the little sections. And then to follow how the song goes for the whole three or four minutes, follow the link in the description to the chord sheet, which is on my website at andyguitar.co.uk. So that's how to play Dakota by the Study of Phonics. Uh, check out any of these easy songs if you like this uh, version of this particular song, like these acoustic versions. Um, plenty more pop songs there to uh, keep you entertained. All on acoustic guitar, fairly straightforward to do, sound great. Get your playing and singing along together and subscribe if you like the channel in general and you've liked this video. Hope to see you guys again. Bye for now.